Yeah, so we're here at uh, Super Training, and uh, we're going to be jumping in with the Combine class. They're going to be doing a bench clinic and a bench workout with uh, Mark Bell, who's probably pretty strong when it comes to the bench. I don't know, you know, 500 pounds, 600 pound benches. No yeah. joke, right? Yeah, he's very strong. I mean, I don't, I don't bench super often, so this is going to be a good workout for me. I will try to do bench. Uh, not frequently, but I like it. Yeah, just get our pecs a little puffed up. There we go. Yeah, it's going to be cool too because uh, the combine guys, uh, they have to do bench press uh, for one of their tests. So it's going to be really awesome to be taught by one of the best guys in the world on bench press, Mark Bell. Bench press is actually a stupid exercise for, for several reasons. We're not really designed to have that kind of weight uh, on our body with both our arms pinned back behind us. We're made to like defend ourselves, push, throw, punch, stuff like that. But we're not really made to have 300, 400, 500 pounds with our, both our arms pinned back behind our body. But it's something they make us do. You guys get tested for it. You have to do 225 for as many reps as you can. And one of the fastest ways to make 225 fly is to get stronger. You're trying to drop the elbow. If, for those of you that have lats, we're trying to drop, and those of you that have triceps, we're trying to drop the tricep onto the lat, and we're trying to drop the forearm onto the bicep. We're trying to create leverage. This big man right here has got it down pretty good. A uh, really key factor in you guys being able to do 225 for, for high repetitions is for you just to go like hell. Back cramp. <laughs> uh, thanks for jumping in and actually benching. Since Charlie said he was going to bench, but <laughs> apparently he's being uh, <laughs> I don't a know. bit of a bitch. I don't know. I don't know what's going on over there, and that's okay. Jumping in with the dumbbells, you gotta get, got to get with the NFL player. I get, I get. I get. Yeah, so they, they call me Kiki. Uh, it's first day back for training, so we look at the benches, and it's really important the combine guys get the opportunity to do that. So we decided to chase the pump, you know, just do a little upper body workout. What do you think? I think we got. This is, this is the no sleeves corner. I, I'm not. Good? We're not. I'm not. They were good. They were good. different movements, about three sets of each. Two or three different movements, three sets of each. So whenever you're done bench pressing, let's uh, get to training some back. 52, 53, 254. All right, that was good. <laughs> some knowledge to them uh, after years and years of me training and busting my ass in the gym. It's a uh, really fun, great opportunity to be able to share the info with them. So yeah, we did, we did some pretty good stuff here at Super Training. We benched, 
Danny and I benched, at least. Tonight we're lifting. Tonight we have a training session, uh, 5 p.m. Uh, with the team. So okay. that'll be fun. Uh, yesterday was uh, full lift, full snatch, full clean and jerk. I imagine tonight's gonna be uh, some power varieties or something like that, because I know tomorrow <coughs> is a lot more kind of squat centric as well. And I'm just, I'm just fired up. I got this solid pump on this early in the day. Yeah. It's a good way to start the day. Good, good way, it is a good start the day. Yeah. I'll finish with this. See you guys at Cal Strength. Damn. <laughs> Later. environment it's you come here and people are just lifting you know you're in a crossfit gym it's a little bit different uh just something going on here if you're on the platform you gotta take it seriously you gotta lift over there you can fuck around too much so i come just to get some work in and uh it's cool to have like rob and the guys there to be like you're pulling like this stay on your heels you know cueing you all the way through uh we got a little work off the blocks kind of uh just moving a little bit after yesterday's Big training session and uh, gearing up for tomorrow. Wednesday is a big day for us, so um, a lot of volume tomorrow at pretty high intensity. So tonight, a little partial range action, just set their timing, get their uh, get their bodies moving. Yesterday's running workout? Benching today, running yesterday. Weird stuff going on. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of weird stuff. Hi, You're looking Dave. way more athletic. I'm feeling it. I'm ready for the combine. Don't do that. I'm ready for the combine. You think I'd get a job? Carrying water bottles? Did you show the camera your toe no. when you're cleaning the gym? Hold your breath. When you drop a weight stack on your foot, this is what in, this is what happens. Really? Oh my god! Am I badass or what? That'll do, pig. That'll do. Snatched and cleaned yours last night on that. What'd you hit, 180? 175 last night? 180? Oh, just 400 pounds? On a fucked up toe? On purpose. That was on purpose. I dropped it on purpose. So. Would you say that there are, there are more or less dick jokes when we're not around? It's out of mm. Yeah, I, I think I think we've been pretty unfiltered. Like, I think this is you got you got you got you got genuine Cal Spring culture. I love me some dick jokes. Are you disappointed? No, you I I, I love me some dick jokes. We have we have plenty of dick. Good. As long as we can make you happy. It takes a lot of dick to make you happy. Hey, that work from the hang looks really good. From the hang looks really good today. Staying back, I think maybe, just maybe, and hear me out on this, you squishing those two toes to all hell is helping you stay back over your ankles into the power position. You should be so lucky. I, you know what that means though? We're probably gonna have to do the other side.
little bit, a little bit of like a hip slide uh, that we kind of just need to watch out. The other thing I have that issue with is my left foot. When I come down, it kind of pops up. I'm on the ball with this one. It might be good to get with Brian, our the MAT guy, you know, to kind of do some stress tests and see like exactly what's going on there. See if we can identify, you know, maybe what motor units not firing, like an audit. Uh, I just love training with these guys. They're like my second family. What's your next big meet? Nationals, the Olympic trials. So, we just got to get back in shape for that. Legs are gone. Awesome. It's going to be sick, dude. Thanks. I'm watching the beat. Okay. Day two in the books, California strength. I think the best thing we can do right now, just to let everybody know, is what did we learn from training here for two days? Charlie? I learned that lifts you see on Instagram should inspire you to lift big weights, but they should lead to the detriment of your own body. So sometimes it's cooler to follow the program and listen to your body instead of seeing all your friends are lifting their PRs or, or heavy weights and think that's the only thing they do. Something that social media sometimes can be a liar and it could be something that could drag you into a really deep, deep hole where you can't walk anymore. Uh, one thing I really kind of learned or, or is reinforced, I guess you say, something's reinforced to me, is about California strength, how they say it's something in the wall, right? It's the environment, that's exactly what it is. Um, when we're training, when you see other people training, even if I've been here at different times where there's been some crazy environment, crazy training session, last couple of days, things are actually relatively mellow. And even in that, you know, mellow environment, talk to somebody, say, what'd you think? They said, man, the environment in this place is out of control. And even today, you had three of the top leaders in the country all sharing bars with us. One of the things that's cool about California Strength, there's there's weightlifting gyms, there's athletic training facilities. I don't know if there's anywhere else in the country where you can hang out with NFL stars and Major League Baseball stars, right? And who work out for like seven hours? Top, top weightlifters in the country, you know. And here's the thing: you want to know something about the NFL guys, the guys who are training for the combine, and Major League Baseball guys? They all squat, they all snatch, they all clean and jerk. I learned that that training like a weightlifter is really fun if you're only doing like one session every two days of your programming. <laughs> yeah. Because like my ankles hurt, like my wrists, my thumbs. I don't know what the fuck is going West on. Wes lost a toe. Wes lost, lost a toe. toe. Too. He's not two toes. Yeah. All right, uh, next stop will be in Austin, Texas Barbell. Oh my God. <laughs> See that high kick? That whole rom right there. That was beautiful. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I hope that was still on. Jesus. Dude, I don't have any of that. Tell, hey, like, hey, okay. he kicked two minutes hey, to the forehead. Tell everybody. <laughs>